Hello, welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. We're here today to uh, go over a little bit about espresso machine fittings. Uh, we've had a few questions uh, lately about what fitting do I need, obviously illustrating that there's quite a bit of confusion about this. Uh, the least confusing part and place to start is that the espresso machines use metric pipe. Here is a pile of metric copper pipe. And with metric pipe, as in most of the metric system, it works quite beautifully. The small pipe, six millimeter measures, believe it or not, six millimeter. Eight millimeter, eight millimeter outside diameter on the pipe. Ten millimeter, ten millimeter outside diameter on the pipe. You just simply measure it out, take your, your caliper, put it on the pipe. If it measures six, eight, ten, 12, 4, they're all even numbers. That's the size pipe that you need, or that's the size pipe that you need to match the fittings to. Now, once you get past the metric pipe, just like all other plumbing, things get confusing. To try to clear up the confusion, let's just go over this. This is the smallest that I commonly use. There's a, small, there's a size smaller. But this six millimeter uses, now once again, the types of fittings that we're talking about here are these compression fittings. They're, they're fittings that are made with, with these mushroom shaped cap fittings or compression caps. And each one of those is held in place by the corresponding nut. Okay, this is called a cap nut. This is called the cap, cap nut. And these seal against a male thread with the point of the, of the cap. The, the mushroom goes in this, and the thread tightens down against it. Okay, the point of the mushroom goes against the face of the thread. No Teflon tape or other sealant. And, of course, you would have soldered these together. And that's basically what your fitting is going to look like when you're done. Okay, now what are we talking about here in sizes? This particular system is generally on the six millimeter pipe is generally for a quarter inch British parallel thread fitting. BPP, British parallel pipe, or BPT, British parallel thread, or British standard, sometimes it's called. So you've got a threaded fitting sticking out of your boiler or some other place and you say what size cap do I need? What size pipe do I need? Well, let's measure this fitting. This is the one quarter inch and take your measuring device you put on it. I am reading depending on how I do it about a half an inch. This is 0.511 or 12.75 millimeters. So the quarter inch, the nominal quarter inch cap nut fits on the quarter inch BPP thread which measures about a half an inch or twelve and a half millimeters. Okay, so if you measure this out and you measure half inch on your male thread you're going to need a quarter inch fitting. The rule of thumb is basically whatever you measure on your thread if you're imperial, add a quarter. Okay, here we take a step up here. Subtract now, a quarter. So, well, no quarter. If you measure quarter inch, quarter inch male thread, you measure it as a half inch. If you measure it a half inch, well, yeah, you add a quarter then subtract a quarter. Depends on how you look at it. <laughs> but we've Barb has made this handy chart over here to try to make some sense of this. Okay, now. Probably what you're going to encounter most on, on most espresso machines are these two mid-ranges, 8 and 10 millimeter pipe. Now these correspond, these use the 3 8 inch cap nut and which fits on either one of these caps. Here's the 10, no here's the 8, and here's the 10. They fit very nicely, very snugly. They're, they're, they're easy to solder together. Okay, now these are for the 3 8 inch system. Now, what 
that's the measurement of the male threaded fitting for a 3 8 inch nut 16 and a half millimeters 0.628 so this measures you're puzzling out trying to figure out what size cap nuts and caps you need this measures about 5 8 inches okay so there's extremes on either end this we rarely use the 12 millimeter pipe but this system this is the half inch cap nut that fits on the half inch thread is over three quarters of an inch it's about 13 sixteenths of an inch so it's it's even bigger we don't use this a lot and obviously we don't even have any 12 millimeter uh, uh, tubing right here now what you what it got a machine set up over here so you can see in practical application what I'm talking about is that this particular this is a gadget tau frame and this particular machine uses a lot of quarter inch nuts a lot of quarter inch threads uh, throughout there's a quarter up here uh, this one right here you can see this is a 3 8 uh, that comes out of the boiler but they the way they have have manufactured this they uh, uh, come up to multiple T's that all have quarter inch now you can see here is a this is a, uh, a 6 mm tube with a quarter inch fitting on it that goes to the manometer that's it's pretty common to have a fairly thin tube that goes to the manometer now the rest of these these are 8 millimeter tubes that go to a quarter inch fitting therefore needing the smaller cap nut now I've, these, these exist throughout this entire machine that you've got uh, this this 8 millimeter tube with a quarter inch cap nut so I've discovered the way they did this uh, throughout the machine is they took perhaps it was a money saving venture but they basically they take the 8 millimeter tubing this has a 1 millimeter wall they take the 8 millimeter tubing and you take this and you ream it out so it's not, the edge is nice and smooth and this is just once again this is kind of like you know any type of tubing plumbing soft tubing is that you ream this out and the six millimeter will fit inside the eight millimeter then they use the regular quarter inch not for the quarter inch fitting okay slip a small sleeve of the six millimeter inside the eight millimeter and use the six millimeter cap right on the end and you really can't even tell that that's the, it's, that's the way it's done but you put a little sleeve in there so, so you that's a way it. of stepping down right. from the larger tube to a smaller fitting right. set. You use the larger tube with the smaller fitting because this small fitting, the quarter inch fitting, does not work with three eighths. It just simply falls right through. And so, you, you, you when you're when you're puzzling through, there's there's little ways that you can can um, uh, make the system uh, work for you uh, with these fittings. But once again, remember, we'll just make a really quick review. If you measure a, a 5 8 inch male, that is nominally, that's a 3 8 BPP, okay? Then you need either the 10 mm cap or the 8 mm cap and the 3 8 If you're measuring down on this system, if you see that you've got a 6 millimeter tube onto a quarter, okay, then you need this system. You measure your male part right there. Now, working with these tubes, and just a really, really short primer on this, is that you have different kinds of uh, uh, benders that you can use. This is likely uh, the, the most uh, professional style bender, this mandrel bending. is you get some really nice smooth bends out of it. And you can see on the machine some, uh, this particular piece here, this is the tube that the pressure stat is going to sit on is that you can see with bendings like these that they they have done some very smooth bends with uh, this type of, of bender uh, when you get 
into a situation like this. Uh, this is the water feed tube. It's a 10 millimeter and with 3 8 inch fittings on it. Uh, you're looking at some compound bands and you can tell that, you, that this was used a different tool. This type of tool here, this is a standard uh, brake, automotive brake line bender. Uh, and this is a very handy tool to get in and as you can see you just kind of manipulate in here and get the tube bent. Uh, this particular tool here, this is another automotive tool for brake lines once again that it enables you that if you're in the if you're in your bender and you've got it held a particular way you can get in here and grab it and tweak it out a little bit. It puts some little marks on the uh, on the tubing but the idea is to get the orientation correct um, then you can clean up some of the some of the little blends on the tube as you go. Now I hope this is is helpful in some way that uh, as far as the measurements go, uh, I don't know if I need to reiterate it, but we do have, this is the 6mm cap, goes with 6mm tubing, outside diameter, 6 millimeters exactly, 1 millimeter thick wall, fits quarter inch, if you measure that with a ruler, the thread's about a half inch, okay? These two, 8, 10, 8, 10 on the cap, 3 eighths on the cap nut, fits 3H British Parallel thread, which when measured, it'll come out to be about 5 eighths inches. Okay, then when you get up into the next size up, once you're dealing with half inch, uh, you're looking at almost a, a, a 3 quarters inch on this thread measured. Actually, it's called half inch. You use the 12 millimeter uh, uh, cap and cap nut system. Uh, the the smaller the pipe, the easier it is to manipulate. This could be some of the logic uh, behind the, the machine that we see over here. I think that I've pretty much covered it all. Hopefully there won't be, uh, hopefully I didn't confuse the issue at all. But generally you can take the measurements off of the mail thread, work backward to see what size you need. And remember, it's only plumbing. They designed it to be confusing. Don't be intimidated. Uh, get your machine all plumbed back up with these nice new compression caps.